it is uh, a Friday the 13th, 13th. Uh, Friday the 13th, October 2023. Um, but it's not about to have unluck. This is uh, this special day where people think it should be an unluck day. And of course it's for some is it because of the killings. And um, but I I it's have been uh, some killings here in Sweden in this night. Uh, but I don't think it is about that why I have been wake up many times this night. Uh, I have not uh, slept uh, for so good as I normally do, does. Um, I only go uh, up and uh, to the bathroom because I have diabetes, so I have to take out uh, the water. And um, but uh, this this night was it uh, up uh, wake up wake up wake up the whole time, and uh, I was not up so very much. Uh, only that I wake up and then have to uh, walk around a little in my apartment, and then fall to sleep again. But it was many times. It seems like something was disturbing, but it was not my neighbors. I maybe find it out because I already have a spirit here that touched me. So we will see what. He or she is talking about. Um, but uh, first uh, was it about last time I recording it was this word entrepreneur. It was this uh, spirit of a, of a woman, Indian woman uh, from India. <laughs> uh, and uh, she said, entrepreneur about this man uh, from now I don't remember uh, where he's from but uh, from Mid Middle East and uh, and uh, I have to look it up and see what entrepreneur means in a spirit way, uh, and they, it's it's positive things for people that want things to go forward, because they are coming in into uh, sometimes a, a business that have stopped. Uh, they can't go forward because they have no new ideas, no events, uh, so they have to make a change. And if they can afford it, they they hire someone that come in and have great, great ideas of what to do and how to build things and these things. And so that is a positive thing since in the spirit way that uh, he can change, uh, he can be changed and uh, see things uh, in an, another direction, another edge, uh, so that's positive. And uh, then I have not met him since the war have started in in Israel in Gaza uh, so what what uh, 
do he feel because he's coming from? I think uh, maybe I say Afghanistan. Um, I ha have forgotten where he was coming from. And uh, and now I forget. I I I uh, wondering. It, it's very disturbing this. This spirit that had coming attached me, but uh, he he or she is welcome to talk. So it's okay. It's only disturbing when I should talk here. And um, so uh, it, how does they feel, these people that have, have run away from a country that have very much a war and, and uh, bad things going on for people? And he said to me, come over three water and waters. And he was frightened to be killed or fall off the, the boat and, or the boat sink. And uh, I say to him, it, it was the meaning that you should come here to Sweden. I told him that. So I think he, if he is the right man, he is thinking about it now, and especially when, when it started the war, also that uh, make uh, maybe some memories in his head about what we have been going on in his life. I will see if it's push him to come to come and find where I am and want to talk to me. And um, so this uh, it, it is a man. I I would describe him so he come. Uh, he have easier. The spirits have easier to come forward. When I describe them, it's like the last layer go off them. When I talk, how they look like. You maybe have thinking about it. Why do she describe them? Uh, but it is for them, help them to pull them closer to me. And... Uh, he looked like uh, this man in the spirit. He he, uh, he have uh, black, uh, a little curly hair. N not like African hair. It's only curly, a little uh, black hair. And uh, he moved around now to... That I, I, with his, I, I, I don't know what he means. Uh, with uh, he, uh, do with his thumb, thumb, on his nose. Like uh, you have seen in movies when they count in money, for example. They do it that thumb with the that th uh, tongue to make it wet, so they can uh, grip the the dollars uh, with a, with their fingers and, and count it. But he do that on his nose, on the on the, on the left side. He's standing. Standing in profile and do that, and now he's he helped me, 
and he say sniffing he say sniffing I think it's to smell something uh, so that's that is very good because I understand now what, what he's saying in the way that he showed me and the, the connection we have in the spirit that uh, that is a sign of uh, I start to understand now so that's good that was what uh, I was like an, I didn't ask, but it was like asking how he, how he feel when he see this going on in Gaza. And, uh, and it's very much talking about Islam. And that what the, uh, confuse people is that Hamas is Islamic but they are but they are like fighting against Palestine so uh, sometimes the, the reporters in the news they mix it together that Hamas and Palestine is the same thing but it isn't uh, because it's a terror organization Hamas and the Palestine people think uh, the, those Palestinian people are in uh, to kill other people but it's many branches in Islam so you so that you can't uh, take them in one group because there is people that want to have peace in in Islam also but they like uh, uh, we that have uh, been born in uh, Christian countries we we grew up with uh, the Christian thinking, and they have grew up with Islamic thinking. It's only uh, that they, uh, we have been born in some uh, religions or or tradition, and we be what we we were born in in that country but it doesn't say that because you are born in a, a christian country that uh, christianity that you you learn learn uh, is the right one that you think that jesus is some kind of god and or is in these three godheads and how you think it it will be uh, and it's the same with islamic it's uh, it's dependent on where they are born and then they be fed with this belief when they are chil children when they are child and it become like that but it doesn't say that they can change their way of understand things and I believe that uh, some of you that follow me you have changed a little of what how you believe now and you can stand on your own so you don't need to have a, a big flock because uh, uh, God the only one God he have a small flock uh, and uh, there is two flocks and one is small and one is very big and uh, the big flock is those that only are 
coming to Jesus that is like a door into heaven. And and you that believe that is Jesus all the time, that you have not come into that fold where the small flock are. And that flock is God's flock because it's more people that believe in Muhammad and Jesus and other those uh, uh, that stand before God. But uh, it's few that can come in to the sm- small flock. Because you stop there because you don't uh, want to learn more. You are you are satisfied with what you have learned from from those gathering places where other people is telling you in the pulpit what you should think. But then is it you that? Some of you, uh, I have some of your followers that really want to know. And you are on your way to, into the small flock where, where you be in the golden city. You are going to into the city. And uh, I am not, I don't know about you, but maybe some of you are sitting in with God in his throne room. And that is not Jesus, in, uh, because I have uh, uh, teach you about it, that Jesus is sitting between heaven and hell. And he is the key to heaven for those that is in hell that he can he can help them uh, bringing them into his throne room in inside hell uh, i think that episode if you have not done what i told you that you should download all the chapter from my podcast if you haven't done that then you don't know that I have talked about this in the episode where I was to hell and uh, there were on the right side where I was uh, I was walking like in a in a cave but it was nice a nice floor like glass but uh, it the walls was like in a cave so uh, the floor was so like glass so it be a little light in the cave so there was not uh, bad to go there it was not scary and on the right side there was uh, seven tables and uh, on that tables was it uh, scrolls and uh, I went up to those uh, tables and opened up uh, the scrolls and in on uh, each of them the scrolls was it like a rebus and and I solved the rebus uh, up to five. It was uh, it was maybe for ten years ago. I had this uh, vision dream, and then it was two tables that I couldn't solve the rebus on those two, but it. I was okay that uh, every those seven scrolls was solved and uh, and then I could walk walk a little more far deep into the cave and then suddenly 
it opened up uh, in on the right uh, on the left side of the, this uh, walk I was on the floor and uh, it was like a stair up to a room in in that cave and I I didn't walk up because it was too narrow to too slim to for me to go, go walk in there but I could look into that room and there was a throne and it was a throne of glass and it was three three places to sit but uh, but in the middle the one in the middle was very high up it was higher than those two other and it was like glass but no one was sitting there and the floor inside that uh, throne room was uh, of glass the the floor and then on the on the right uh, a corner close to the floor it was shining of gold but I think today that it, it was the opening to heaven and so I I was looking into the throne room where Jesus is sitting because he had the keys uh, keys to both hell and heaven and he he go down there sometimes into hell to to take out people that he save up to heaven and so that's what I saw and uh, uh, I didn't know uh, I was thinking it maybe was heaven but but it was a cave so it was down underground and so I don't know why I was talking about this maybe the, the spirit want to tell me the spirit I don't think that he is he, he had passed away it's only that the spirit of him came here and wanted to tell me to to wait because he's on his way and uh, it is the only uh, I'm not I I not give up but I feel like he is the last one that can can go on with me uh, and uh, and I am not thinking uh, worldly about him I'm thinking that he should be uh, together with me in the spirit way to do to help the world but now as uh, the war have started in Israel are we very late but you know that uh, God can be late but he is never too late uh, and uh, but for me as a human does does it seems seems like we are uh, we are almost to the last day and uh, and I tell you that uh, it's coming in someone here someone else is coming in here that is a, a little higher up and he looked like a, a Jesus figure and I understand that you that have followed me in my podcast, you know that if I talk about someone, 
most of the time they are coming through. So, yeah. but he is this. There is a Danish uh, man that have done the arch that is for the Mormon Church. That is a statue in all uh, those uh, Mormons' uh, temple. Is uh, Jesus with a little curly hair, uh, and he, in his thirties, long hair and bald, but uh, not this higher priest that I have seen sometimes, because he is the young one, and uh, and he is coming as an. And he tell you that is uh, this uh, wave have started the tsunami that they are talking about, and they uh, and he he uh, he have his hand spread out a little, not like he is on the cross. He is spread out a little, only like he he touch with his hand a girl and a boy, a child, and uh, say that uh, the, uh, we should be like a child and trust him, like the child is trusting the real parents, those parents that is real, real good parents, those children trust, trust. and even uh, if uh, the parents is bad, uh, the, the, it's in their, in them uh, to trust uh, uh, their parents, even if the parents is wrong wrong they trust and you they can fool them to do stupid things like go and killing killing uh, people like they do now here in Sweden and um, I know he didn't want me to talk about it uh, but uh, he holding his hand like he holding, holding two children, and he say that to you, that uh, you have to. You, or if you have not listened before, but it's very important that you, you take. Uh, he he go before me. And saying that it's time for you to to clean up your house, he said that to you, and you know what it means to take away those trash that you have uh, that is not your real friends, but you think they are friends, but they are some is like parasite. They only want to be fed of you in uh, in money or your status or in uh, to get something from you and uh, and there there is people that uh, take advance of you and and you have to find it out who they are because they are going to turn turn away from you and maybe be your enemy when life will be tough for you and you have to rely on yourself only and on God of course uh, and you need to to clean up your home from those parasites and then store up store up so you have food, and uh, I'm talking uh, about what I did yesterday. I was checking out uh, what uh, what from 
Israel or Middle East, we are importing uh, food we eat, what it was. But it's mo mostly here in Sweden, is it mostly fruits we import. But it's like checking out what will can run out from the store of food. Uh, I I am I'm sending home products from my grocery store, so because I don't want to be sick now, people are very sick and coughing, and so I I don't want to go into the store and something tell me I don't know. If it's right, but I feel like it should come someone and shooting in the grocery store. I feel like that, so I should not go in there. So I have a, a medicine to to take out from the store, but it's not really in the inside the grocery store. It's uh, we have boxes uh, just in the opening of the grocery store where we can get our uh, uh, what we are sent for sent to what we have bought to be sent there and uh, and I had before I had boxes that was on the outside. And uh, last time I was in boxes outside, they have stolen my medicine. So I have a very high blood pressure now when I was to, to the doctor. And uh, uh, I did a test. The nurse did that. And maybe the doctor will call me. And I have to tell him that the, that new medicine I should have, that was stolen. And I can't go and get a new medicine because I have to wait three months till, until the medicine should be out from, uh, out from the new medicine. I can't eat it. So uh, I will see what he is saying. But uh, that's what they are doing today. Nothing can stand outside. It's always on everything. Uh, but it was not uh, not medicine that is for to do like drugs to have a party like that. I don't have that kind of medicine. So the, uh, they didn't get uh, nice things, and maybe they uh, they were student and check out where the mailman placed uh, that box because it says it's come from the pharmacy, the the box that I should take out. So they maybe check it out where he. He put the box and took it. Um, but I'm okay. I have another other medicine that I can take instead of a, a blood pressure medicine. But then I run out from that medicine quicker. But uh, I may uh, the doctor maybe call me today, so. He can send me uh, medicine that I missed there. So he, it's uh, touching me more. Yeah. He is saying that some of you are worried and 
and I have seen that also. It's like you are waiting. What will happen? But in that time when you wait for the tsunami to be higher, you need to to clean up your home and store up. You can do that even if you are frightened and and be like frozen in your body and uh, that's why i i was waiting because um, it's going up this like healing energy inside my body it's feel different from other things uh, it it is not coming uh, from uh, over my head. It's coming from from my uh, <clears throat> stomach, belly, the uh, this um, center for the acra is going. No, I don't remember what it's called. Par, uh, parallax. Solar plexus. Thank you for that. Uh, it's coming from the solar plexus up to my head. So it's what's inside me that coming out to you to fear not is what what God want you to to hear and it's coming from your ancestor also in afterlife to, uh, what it means don't fear it means that in the same time, they I can say, we are with you. That's, uh, do not fear. It uh, can stand on its own, but it's, it's coming with uh, that we are with you. So, uh, breathe. You have stopped to breathe. And that's not good because it can make you go sick. If you feel like you want to vomit, if you th want feel like you want to throw up, that's a, a sign that you need to breathe. And the, know to, to take in slowly air, and hold it in your chest for some seconds and then you take it out again. That's that w what I did uh, before I knew God so much. I did that for to fall to sleep. When I couldn't sleep, I was laying in the bed, turning around and couldn't sleep, then I understood to lay me down, real lay me down, relaxing lay, lay me down, and then thinking about my breathing, and do this slowly in and out from the chest, and hold it in the chest for some second first when you have taken in there and and I fall to sleep after three four doing these things so it's working it's really working and uh, this is what uh, I had more to tell you but that I can tell you in other episodes
but this was the most important for today. And uh, I know uh, it's like you have no time to listen at my podcast uh, either, uh, but you need to breathe and do what you normally do. do don't waste your time to bo- only freeze and b- only be there and waiting. You don't need to wait you can do other things in the time you wait so god bless you thank you for listening